Well, right now, family and friends of 38 year old Priscilla Slater are holding a protest outside of the Harper Woods Police Department. They want to know how their loved one could have died in police custody. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper joins us live with more on what they're saying. Rudy? Dave Carroll in that protest growing by the minute down here, about a dozen or so people standing in solidarity with Priscilla's family. A mystery unfolding here in Harper Woods. Priscilla Slater's family today demanding answers in front of a quiet police department. The 38 year old police say was found unresponsive in a holding cell by staff members. Family members came out to the police department last night for answers. Police say medics attempted to revive her. She was taken to the St. John Hospital and pronounced dead at 1245 p.m. on Wednesday. Hours later, family members received the devastating news that Slater is no longer with us. That notification came from authorities. Slater was picked up by police on Tuesday at the Park Crest Hotel, but family says it's unclear why. They say this is a cover up and they demand answers, which they say they can't get from police. She died unnecessary. Does not feel good. When you care about a person, you raise them. And I don't know where they go. I'm mad about it. And I want justice for Priscilla. Yes, I do. Slater's body was taken to Wayne County Medical Examiner's Office. The family calling for transparency as they grieve a loved one. We reached out to Harper Woods Police and MSP, who's also involved in this investigation today. And we have yet to hear back. We know there are a lot more questions and answers in this investigation. We're going to continue digging to get those answers. Live in Harper Woods, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Rudy.